in this video, we will revisit the Southwest Harbor House for the last time to do a follow-up investigation. And we will conclude this investigation with the Lamb House. Today is July 24th, 2021. And it's officially four years ago this day I started doing paranormal investigations. One of the most memorable investigations I think I can honestly say that I've been on now is probably the Southwest Harbor House. And the reason why that's memorable because of what I learned from that investigation and what we encountered, that was quite a learning experience. But the Southwest Harbor House affected everyone that was involved with that investigation. Affected them in such a way that I don't think anybody will ever be the same again. I know I will never be the same again after that investigation based on what we encountered. But in all honesty, I was real close of just packing up the equipment and no longer doing paranormal investigations after what we encountered on that investigation. It was extremely dark and very oppressive and I almost just packed up the cameras. Sometimes it's rare to go to a place where the activity is just non-stop. The Lamb House is that way, but the Southwest Harbor House was also that way. And I have no doubt that what was at the Southwest Harbor House did in fact follow me to the Lamb House, no doubt. Is there anything specific you want to do to verify to us that you are here? Hello? They don't like me. Let me get a recorder to the room. They don't like me, Josh. Oh, I'm going through it now. They do not like me. It's weird. <coughs> Nothing's weird. I mean, I was still again. So, Tara says you guys do a bunch of things in this house at night. Can you show me what you do?
is it that you want to talk about? Guys, have anything you want to say before we move to the next room? But one of the main things that these spirits were concerned about in our first visit to the Southwest Harbor House was the safety and welfare of Emily, the daughter. Do you know Emily? You know her? Said it. Emily. And she just said it again. Emily. They said it twice. And he just said it in there in the living room. Guys, asking me for help. And what was really amazing about this investigation, as based on what these spirits said about help the girl, come to find out, uh, this girl really needed some help. And these spirits intervene in telling the living that she was in danger. In which she was. One day I hope to go into the details of what happened, but this YouTube channel and right now is not the proper time. Karen, are you here?
Karen, we'd like to speak with you for a minute. You seem to try to be making some communications with people in the house. We'd like to give you a chance to let us know why you keep communicating with them. Karen, are you leaning on her because you feel like you guys have a similarity? Like something in common with each other? specific question that you had in mind for Karen that we can try to maybe catch an EVP for you? Like if there's anything that she's asking me to do or if there's anything that she thinks that I can do to help Ask her move her. on or pass or Ask whatever, her. you know. Karen, is there anything that you think that I can do to help you or anything that you want me to do to help you, you know, cross over and not be stuck here? Do you feel like any spirits attached to either me or my mom? Well, I mean, there's an attachment, but she's not, like, trying to harm you. I would be more concerned about that. And she seems to be trying to relay to you. What the hell was that? And she seems to be trying to relay to you. What the hell was that? And she seems to be trying to relay to you. What the hell was that? And she seems to be trying to relay to you. And she seems to be trying to relate to you. We're going to call that one out at 2145. We don't know what that sound was. I go back to do the final investigation at the Southwest Harbor House. Haunted Arizona accompanies me on this investigation. Haunted Arizona will be putting out their own video based on what they captured. But this is what took place on the final investigation. It's me, Kent. come back to talk with you guys. Karen, Penny, the girl that's brought up Nick, Hello? I come back to listen to hear what you have to say. The little girl that keeps bringing up Nick. It seems like the main spirit that surrounded the activity at the Southwest Harbor House was definitely a little girl. Now was she a human spirit or was she evil? Ugh, I think a little bit of both. Who's here with us? Who's here with us? Who's 
Who are you? Some of you have said, help me repeatedly. Now that is gone, I wanted to take this opportunity to hear what you have to say. Okay. What does Nick need help with? Was that you? Are you in here?
Are you guys still hiding? Are you still needing to hide? I heard you. I heard your pleas for help. Is the house clean? Has the evil left? Okay, so I'm hearing faint voices, but I can't tell what they're saying. I'll have to go back and listen to the recording to understand what you guys are trying to tell me, okay? But don't stop talking. Thank you. Nick. Now, after the encounters at the Southwest Harbor House, the Lamb House definitely went through some changes. Wasn't it 30 years ago that Satanist guy lived in here? Yeah. And he Fred said Ward. it was 30 years ago those kids lived in here. Yeah. What do you guys know about Fred Ward? Years. After engaging dark encounters, there was a strong feeling the house was back to normal. After many encounters over the past four years, where do I go with these investigations from here? What should I ask? 
What topic should I bring up? I don't want to bore these spirits to tears with the same questions. The disembodied voices have picked up. These spirits are doing strange things around the house to try to get my attention. But what do they want to tell me? What information do they have we don't already know? I decided to pull out the equipment and start recording. I'll sit back and listen to what these spirits talk about. I was surprised once again they brought up Naomi. I never realized some of these spirits were not at rest over Naomi's murder. But these spirits said more. These are the clips of what was captured during these recordings. I removed what they said about Naomi. Those clips are in the girl in the woods. These spirits do bring up some of the same topics, but they seem troubled about the topics they bring up. Why are you mentioning my daughter? You said that's the woman, and then you said Miranda. What about Miranda? that. Hello? Are you talking about in the basement? When you said it was damaged, and you said, I bet that Kent did it, were you talking about this window I broke?
Yeah, actually I did do it. It was an accident. say something? Did you die in this room? talking over there? What happened in this room that was so traumatic have to do with this house.
Over the past four years, these spirits constantly brought up Rachel and others buried in the basement, under the house, or in the woodshed. After going over these recordings and heard what was captured, I went to the basement and looked closely. In the spring, during mud season, water comes up from the surface of the ground. When this happens, objects can be brought up from the dirt. With the water flow moving under the house, this water flow constantly pushes debris through this opening, depositing debris on the basement floor. To my surprise, I found more bone fragments on the basement floor. I record this find to document where these fragments were found. These fragments are so old, the bone can be crushed with the bare hand. Are these human remains? Animal remains? At this time, I don't know. To this date, these are all the bone fragments found under the house or on the basement floor. Some say there is energy from human remains. I do find this odd. Hello? Hello? What about the child?
Tell me about the child, please. How did the child die? Can you talk with me about the child? <laughs> <laughs> 